mail everybody i'm cantonese cat hey everybody cantonese cat here we got the bitcoin chart here i just want to do a little bit of an intraday um, update on the uh, bitcoin and on the miners um, just real quick so first of all you're seeing the weekly chart of bitcoin the first thing i want to point is that actually looking at ichimoku is actually look at the bollinger band here on the weekly you can see already had multiple touches at the lower bollinger band and so far it looks like it's finding support the lower bollinger band right now the 20 week moving average initially was downward sloping right now it's trying to turn a little bit flat here i think there's a potential for price just kind of go sideways here for a little bit longer kind of work out some of the technicals here before, if you ask, they have to ask me which way I think it's going to be, is my thing is going to be end up going up. The um, reason behind that is, and I've shown you on a video from um, back in um, yesterday, that I think there are uh, about 10 different things as to why I think that we're getting really close to the bottom, if not already hit the bottom for this downward correction that has been happening for about six months. One of which is you're also hitting the um, Ichimoku cloud and it really has turned the Ichimoku cloud from resistance breakout. You know, resistance uh, back here was in like July 2023 and we had a breakout here in October 2023 and finally we back tested the Ichimoku cloud. So whenever you have resistance breakout and back test, this is generally supposed to be considered like a, a bullish thing if you're into like the whole technical analysis kind of thing, right? Um, the other thing to also kind of take into consideration right now, Bitcoin is inside the um, candle over here, like this is an inside candle to this candle over here, right? The bolt hole body of this candle is being engulfed by the previous week so far. So you can see this as like an inside candle. Typically for an inside candle, you would have a trend continuation. And if the trend is down, you're still at risk potentially breaking down into the cloud and back test 49,300, somewhere around there. But there's also a concept known as the bullish harami candlestick whenever you have a downtrend. And if you are to have a reversal, you usually have an inside candle that is more bullish and that could precipitate a move of reversal going up, right? So that could be potentially what we're looking at here, although there's not 100% certainty. Right now I can say that it's range bound between the resistance of the tank and engine on the weekly uh, up, up above and the cloud down below. Now the support down below is getting thick over here. So there's a good chance that maybe price just kind of gravitate sideways for a few weeks and ride the cloud up and break about these resistance just because of how thick the each move cloud is over here moving forward. But there's no guarantee it can always drop down underneath the cloud and the next level support would be around 49,300 would be what I'm seeing. Um, real quick looking at some of the other charts here, MicroStrategy is doing a very, very similar thing. It hasn't really touched the cloud, but Basically, it's the same chart um, as Bitcoin. Um, there, there's really not much to say about it. I do think that my strategy, because it's not showing any signs of bearishness, I do think that um, whales are still in and they are still believing Bitcoin is going to go higher because last cycle, um, my strategy did not hold well at all. Um, it peaked in like February 2021 when Bitcoin went ahead and made like higher highs in like November of 2021. It's not really doing that so far. So because of that, I should actually feel pretty good about um, Bitcoin overall. You look at Clean Spark, it's also having a little bit of um, bullish Harami candle here, doesn't it? So the potentially be a little bit of a trend reversal here. You're going to have resistance up around like maybe 11, 12 bucks up here, which is you know kind of what the previous level over here is. But um, right now it looks like it might be putting in a little bit of a bullish Harami candle. The last two um, candle downwards is really not on not much volume at all. So I don't know, like it could certainly have some downward um, pressure going down further. I think that's entirely possible. But right now, I, I just don't know whether or not um, this is going to go down that much further. Um, it, I've shown you last week, um, basically it has bounced off of a pretty important level, which is the 100 week moving average almost exactly to the dot. Um, and this has been a pretty important level for resistance, resistance, support, resistance before, right? And we just found support here. So I think minimally you're going to get a little bit of a dead Cantonese bounce, if not a trend reversal to go up a lot higher, just because the volume on the way down has just been like very, very minimal, right? Same thing's happening with Mara. The Mara also had like no volume on the down two candles last two weeks. It's finding some pretty decent support right now. It looks like it's just bounced off from the 100 week moving average. Um, and again, it was a pretty important level for resistance and you know support over here in the past. So 
Um, I think these mean something. Again, you have like a little bit of a bullish Harami candle inside. Bitfarm also has a little bit of bullish Harami candle inside. Bitfarm has basically just back tested the bottom of my pitchfork over here. It looks like it's bouncing and it's forming a bullish Harami. Um, Cypher is also having a bullish Harami candle here. Maybe it would next grab it back towards like around um, four bucks here um, if it's able to bounce from the current area here. Uh, Irene, um, same thing, bullish Harami candle. And the next uh, level, if it ends up getting, you know, get going up further, is probably going to be the Fibonacci here, the 0 0.236 or the volume shelf up here. Basically, I remember for like 7.4, 7.5, all the way to like 7.8, could still be some resistance up above. But you have a little bit of a bullish Harami can over here. So um, promising so far. Woof. Bullish Harami candle. Again, none of these are guaranteed, right? But it looks like it's finding support here at this volume shelf over here. So maybe you could gravitate back towards the top of volume shelf, closed around 4.8, 4.9, and 5. But if it does end up breaking down, then you're talking about maybe like 2.5, right? That's kind of, um, but, but it actually look a lot more bullish compared to the other miners. And I'm not sure whether or not it's going to end up, you know, going down further. This one did have a little bit more of an increased volume sell. So we'll see what happens with this. But so far, you do have a bullish Harami. Last time you had a bullish Harami, you end up having a pretty significant move up afterwards, right? So that's uh, Wolf, BTBT, bullish Harami candle. Downtrend on the last two candles are on very, very low volume. And right now you have a bullish Harami candle. So all of these are favorable for maybe some bullish reversal here. Um, HUD 8, same thing, bullish Harami candle, low volume sell off the last couple of, um, couple of weeks. Course is getting back about 10 bucks. Also has a bullish Harami candle. The downtrend was on low volume. Riot, the downtrend the last two weeks also on low volume. And you also have a bullish Harami candle here so far. Again, none of this is guaranteed. It could go down further, but I can see maybe some signs of reversal based on volume and based on candle um, structures here. So I'm not too bearish on uh, miners and on Bitcoin right now because of what I'm seeing. Um, of course, we'll have to see how it works out on a lower time frame. I'm still a little bit, you know, worried that um, on the 18, not worried, I guess, you know, but I just want to kind of let you know, like on the um, on the 18 uh, hour chart here for Bitcoin, it is kind of hitting the resistance here on the Ichimoku cloud on the 18 hour chart it is trying to break above it is having a little hard time doing it. Maybe it's going to do it. I don't know. I don't I don't know about these wicks up here, but we'll see. On the daily chart, it looks like it's reclaiming the Tengen. Um, so a lot of these like you know more positive things are, are happening on a lower time frame for for Bitcoin and for even for miners on a weekly time frame. Um, you know, for Clean Spark, it's still kind of underneath a lot of these kinds of things here on the 18-hour chart. Or, well, I guess this daily chart is no 18-hour chart for for <laughs> Clean Spark. On the four-hour chart, it's reclaiming the Tengen, right? And you have a little bit more volume coming in on like this little uptrend over here. So. Whereas downtrends on declining volume, so yeah, you, you have a little bit of repairing of um, of the technicals here. Same thing with Mara, so um, you know, same thing with Bit Farms. So there are a lot of these kind of repairing of technicals here going on in the lower time frame. So we'll see whether or not they play out. Um, yeah, just want to share you some quick thoughts on miners on Bitcoin. Take care, bye.